Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about IBM Interact and WebSer Commerce integration. So what I'm going to use is the Green Wheels demonstration we showed this year at the Smarter Commerce Summit. And you can see here I have a product page for the Aurora Road Racer and I have three areas on this page that I'm going to be focusing on within this demonstration. One is this area right here, which is a zone. This is a zone, and then this is a zone here. And if we look inside of Interact, these are actually set up as three different zones within the channel. So let's go ahead and look at these zones. So I'm going to look at my EMM Smarter Commerce demo channel that we set up specifically for this demo. And I'm going to look at the interaction points. So if we look at the interaction points, I I have three areas that uh, we have set up for the specifically the Green Wheels page, which is product page seven, product page two, and product page three. And we specifically name them to map to the areas in the product page inside of the Webster Commerce uh, Composer layout. And we'll get to that later. But just remember, basically seven, two, and three are the key elements here. And if I look at the different offers that we're seeing, we can uh, go ahead and map them to what you're actually looking at on the website. So let's go ahead and open up the offers. So if I open up Green Wheels, I can see all, these are all the different offers that we have within the demonstration and you could probably pick out a few of them like cycling hydration tips you'll notice here cycling hydration tips uh, let's see where, where we got we got some free fitting with a mountain bike etc so we can pretty much map those exactly to the offers that you're seeing here two-day green adventures weekend you know, two-day green adventures weekend, etc. And if I go ahead and look at one of those, uh, we can look at the different attributes that will be set or sent with the API to the system. So we got things like just the plain old um, offer term, etc. We've got different images that could come with it on image small, a banner, a medium, a large, etc. So let's go and look at how we did this on the Webster Commerce site and we actually set up this layout. So if we go into Commerce Composer, you'll notice I set up a new uh, layout called Bikes Product Page Layout in the store green wheels. And if I open that up and go to the Design Layout tab, this is pretty much the design of the page. Uh, it's a responsive design, so it may not look completely like this, but the interact zones that I've set up are named the same. So we've got two, three, and seven. Now you might be asking, well, why is seven down there? Well, if we go back to the site, it's set up so it actually wraps accordingly if the content fits. So this is kind of what you're looking at in the, um, in the layout builder here. So we got five and six and four in the middle five, six, and four, all is right here, and seven is below, but then seven wraps around. So if we wanna go ahead and add a new widget, so let's just walk you through the process fairly quickly. Uh, you can either scroll down or you can start typing in and it'll find it. So we have an IBM Interact widget, we can click on it and we can click okay, and then it would just create one of these elements down here but let's go ahead and just look at one and walk through it so this is the interact zone 7 widget which is essentially right here and it displays you can see a maximum of two offers we set the interaction point name to product page 7 which is the same interaction point name we have in uh, IBM interact and we're going to pick an audience level of individual and then the audience ID. Now, I could probably get rid of some of these fields since I was just doing this as a proof of concept. I just put all the fields that I would enter as a developer in the UI. But we would pretty much streamline this once it, once it became part of the product. So the other 
thing that I did was I, I'm basically receiving three elements from Interact that I'm interested in. I'm interested in the offer text, an offer link, and an offer image. And what I've done is I've used the WYSIWYG editor here to actually create how the offer is going to be displayed in the user interface on the website. And you can see here, I have the offer text, and then I have the image underneath it, and they're both surrounded by the link. So if I look at the actual source, you can see here I have a paragraph style, um, and we have an, uh, an anchor link for the offer link, and then we put the offer text within that anchor, and then we end the paragraph, and then we have another anchor with the same link, and then the URL. And that's pretty much what it looks like. And if we go over to the website once again, and span this out, that's what we get here. We get the text and the image underneath it, and then they're both hot. Now, what I did in this demonstration is, since we have several different kinds of fields coming from Interact, I'm giving the marketing person the capability to decide which attributes to pull uh, the values from. So for instance, the image, I could be getting a banner image, a large image, a small image, or a medium image. And in this case, I'm picking the small image. Uh, so this is the attribute that I'm going to be pulling from uh, the actual offer itself. And same thing with the click link, I could be getting it from several different fields, but these offers are going to have that. So once again, you may want to, you know, minimize what a marketing person has to go through in order to put this widget on the page. Uh, it's up to you. So let's look at a, a more basic one, which is the zone two, which would be right here. So this is zone two. This is zone three. And you'll notice that there is no hot link. It's just simply a content display. It's showing you something on the screen. You know, this may end up resulting in a coupon in your wallet or something that you get at checkout, but there's nothing for the shopper to actually click on. It's just essentially text. And the way I did that was I just, I just put a div around the text and added the class uh, banner ads. And that's pretty much it. And then the, the last one is basically the same thing. Uh, it's product page three, one offer, and it's just essentially showing the text. So that's the end of the first part. In the second part, uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how I actually developed the IBM Interact widget for Webster Commerce and show you the steps uh, to do that. So with that, thank you for watching.